Hi, this is Raisa here from CIO News, the host for today. And along with me, I have uh, Abhijit Tannu, the co-founder for Seclore. So welcome, sir. Hope you're doing great. And my first question for today is, since you interact with CISOs across India, what are the, some of the key trends and challenges you see in the current landscape? Yeah, so some of the I mean, trends that we see, and this is not just in India, in fact, across the globe that we see, and some of them, I think, will come in due course of time in India also. So one is, of course, there is a lot of focus on on data privacy, right? I mean, we, we did uh, some analysis and I think by end of next year, almost 75% of the global population will be under data privacy. So most organizations which are, you know, global in nature, who have businesses across uh, different countries will have to take that into consideration, right? While deciding their internal processes or deciding their security strategy. The other important trend that we see is the CISO role is becoming more and more significant. More and more CISOs are getting seat at, at the decision table and the CISO budgets are also going up. Globally. But what it also means that there is a lot of accountability also to the CISOs, a lot more. And there is a whole shift from being effort focused to being result focused. So earlier, a lot of regulations were more focused on what kind of, you know, means you are deploying to secure your data or infrastructure. Now, the most of the new regulations, including DPDP or GDPR, are more focused on the outcome. Is the customer data actually secure? They don't really care what all you have done to ensure security. As long as it's secure, they are good. So uh, there is a lot of focus on, you know, result rather than just efforts. And which also means that uh, the security practitioners have to, you know, look at solutions which are most effective and they are effective at scale. So those are some of the trends that I see globally. Also, in the context of staying ahead of the curve, what are the organizations doing to enable customer organizers in creating awareness and training for preventing and mitigating cyber attacks? So what does Seclore do? So there are two things that we, we kind of focus on. So one is we are investing a lot in our customer success organization, right? Which works very closely with a lot of our customers to ensure that our technologies are, you know, adopted at scale, right? Because we believe that unless these technologies are adopted at scale, you can't really get the effective, you know, impact out of those technologies. The second thing that we focus on is rather than, you know, educating every individual, which is of course important, but in, if you consider large organizations like, let's say, banks which have hundreds of thousands of employees right you need to focus on technologies which will ensure that your data is protected even if there is some kind of a breach or a data leakage in the organization so our focus is on building or bringing those kind of technologies to these organizations where you know the data stays secured or protected even if there is a breach we call it as you know a harmless breach and we are promoting that and we are kind of helping a lot of these organizations adopt these kind of technologies to keep them Secured, right? In spite of a breach happening. So, what is your take on shift in cybersecurity after the digital inflection point a decade ago? Yeah. So, I think one of the big effects of this whole digitization, right? And whether it is a government digitizing a lot of their infrastructure, or, or it is you know various enterprises you know digitizing their processes, is just explosion of data, right? And with all the artificial intelligence, machine learning techniques, which are like data hoggers, data is becoming more and more valuable. Also, I think the big shift is change you know focus changing from securing infrastructure to securing data itself right and which is what we have been kind of big proponents of so if you look at you know the hackers today they are not interested in your you know your machines or your network they are interested in the data finally right so if your data is secured right you know you can almost you know make sure that your your data breaches can be harmless and we see a lot of organizations and regulatory compliance i mean dpdpk as a classic example are shifting their focus Focus to data rather than infrastructure. So what are the practices that maximize integrated security benefits? So one of the things that you know we work very closely with our customers is how do we make sure that all these different data centric security solutions can work together. Very recently you know earlier this year we launched our data asset classification offering which works very closely with our digital rights management offering that we already had and the benefit that you get is based on because of the integrated offering it, it is is like you know the sum of the two is bigger than the the parts right and we are able to now help enterprises identify what are their critical assets and also protect them automatically and we've designed our solutions which work or which can integrate with a lot of other enterprise security solutions right whether it is data loss prevention systems or your cloud access security brokers or even your other enterprise solutions like your email or application so the idea here is how can secular technology become an infrastructure element for 
the whole enterprise wherever there is a need for securing data they can leverage the secular technology thank you sir thank you for your insightful knowledge thank you thank you thank you audience for your time